morning. Happy Friday. All right, it's Friday. Payday for some. Just knowing the weekend's here for everybody else. Um, but so as promised, I told you guys this week that I would come live and give you guys some hair tips. Or give you ladies some hair tips, I should say. But there are some guys out there that have long hair. So these hair tips might work for you. So um, I've been one that's always, always, always been like OCD about taking care of my hair. Finding products that are going to help my hair stay healthy. Um, you know, my hair was a lot longer and then I decided to go crazy and do all blonde hair and I had a lot of breakage and I didn't realize how much breakage, good morning mom, I was having in my hair until like I look at pictures from a year ago when my hair was blonde, I'm like oh my god it was so short and I never cut it. I didn't cut my hair short, it just had breakage. So that's why I had decided, plus I like my hair more in my natural color anyways. They always say, you know, God gave you the color eyes, the color hair, and everything he gave you because that is where your beauty lies. And then we all just try to change all that stuff. So um, I went back into having um, Natalie, my friend that does my hair, she put more of the dark in, left a little bit of the blonde. We haven't touched up the blonde in years. Um, left a little bit of the blonde, and then I just use like a, um, a toning shampoo to take that golden out of the blonde every once in a while. Because the blonde's still there, it's just it gets that golden color, so I just help take that out. But, so here are my tips that I have learned to help with hair. So, living this sweaty lifestyle, most ladies feel that they have to wash their hair every day. That is so bad for your hair. Um, it, it actually taking, it takes out all the natural oils that our hair needs to be healthy. Um, so shampooing it and conditioning it daily is actually very harsh for your hair. Even if you're using an all natural type shampoo or um, an apple cider vinegar shampoo, which I'm using and I love, it's made by WOW. Um, I think that's why my hair is like really growing. But anyways, um, it's not healthy to wash your hair every day. This is something that I have taught Kayla at a very, very young age, that it's not healthy to wash your hair daily. So because of that, my best friend is dry shampoo. This, I have found, this brand works fantastic for me and fantastic for Kayla. And what I love is that they have one for dark tone hair and they have one for light tone hair. So obviously we have both in the house because I had blonde hair, so I used the light tone, so Kayla and I shared it, and then when I went and took a lot of the light out, and most of my hair is dark, now I use the dark tone. But this is the brand that I used. You can find it at, can you hear the birds this morning? Every morning they're just, I don't know if they're having this full out conversation with each other, or if they're just, hey Amy, or if they're just bitching at each other. <laughs> Um, but birds are going bananas. But anyway, so this is the brand that I found that I use. I get mine on Amazon sometimes because I find it cheaper on Amazon than I do in salons. But you can find it in, in hair salons, but you guys know me, I'm an Amazon girl. I hate going places to get things and my salon doesn't carry it. So this is the one that I found. Their shampoo and conditioner is really good too. Um, Kayla needed something that was going to um, help her hair get a little healthy and I got this brand for her and it worked. Uh, one of my friends, we were in Vegas and she told me about this brand and they had it in their little spa area in Vegas, um, Caesars Palace. Belle Ann, leave it. Hey Mark, good morning. So dry shampoo will become your friend. However, you can also just rinse your hair. So if you're somebody that likes to have like a fresh blowout, which I'm gonna tell you a tip on this too, um, you could just rinse your hair and just rinse the sweat out. Um, I promise you, rinsing it and then blowing it out, you're not gonna have the oily up here. I wash my hair probably once a week and you guys see how sweaty I get every day. That's why my hair has grown so much and has gotten so healthy. Also, this is the best type of hair tie. These, the best hair tie. They will not break your hair. If you are somebody that exercises a lot or that pulls your hair up a lot, even if you're not living this sweaty lifestyle, if you're someone that pulls your hair up a lot, you need this. There's no breakage. So you can put your hair in the crazy buns. 
Um, you could put your hair in a ponytail. When I do a ponytail, I clip my bangs back first because I find that even though they're long, I have like, the little, they're not even really bangs. They're just like the long angles. It comes out of my ponytail sometimes and it gets in my face and when I'm exercising, that drives me crazy. So you could do buns with it. You could do just a ponytail with it. Like honestly, they are the best hair tie. Um, they just, they grip your hair really well. They don't slide out. And then if you see, it's not, it's just going into my hair. So it's not gonna break my hair. You wear your hair up a lot, every time you're putting an, those elastics in your hair, it's breaking off little pieces of your hair, especially if you notice when you go to pull it out and you pull out hair on the elastic, yeah, that's not healthy. You're ripping your hair out and you're breaking your hair at that point. So these are the best. You can find these anywhere. Amazon has them, Publix has them now, I think. Walmart has them. These are the best. And then just putting them on your wrist, especially the clear one, you know, then you don't have all those elastics on your wrist. And this one stays, it doesn't slide like the other ones to where then they're falling off your wrist and you look down and you have no more elastics. So these I find have been the best. Kayla uses them as well. Um, so rinsing your hair just rinses out that sweat, but your natural oils can still stay there to help your hair. Um, dry shampoo, the easiest way to use it guys is not spraying it, it's not for the ends of your hair, it is for your scalp. So you just kind of pick up spots and just spray it and then you take your hands, like say you're gonna spray it, I'll just spray a little because I'm gonna need it anyway. So you spray right on the root, right? And then you take your hand and you rub it and you rub it and you rub into the scalp. Oh, it smells so good. It almost smells a little like baby powder for me. And you just rub, rub, rub on the scalp massage it into where you want it to absorb the oil. Now, back in the day when, I don't even know if this existed, but when my hair would look oily back in the day, I would take baby powder and I'd go like this with the baby powder thing and then I'd rub it into my scalp and it did the same thing. So I don't know if dry shampoo just wasn't invented. I don't remember ever like hearing about it, but I used to use baby powder. So what you need to do is do that on your scalp in the areas needed and then you just rub it in. And then what I do is, because a lot of times I'll just take a clip after my workout, clip my hair like this and take my shower. And then I'll, if I need the dry shampoo, then I'll do it. So you can blow dry your hair dry. I don't know if any of you guys know this. My hair girl gave me this tip. She did it on Kayla and I'm like, oh, her hair doesn't need to be wet first. Like I thought we had to wet our hair in order to get that good blow dry look. You don't need to. I only wet my hair when it looks like super, super sweaty and super, just to get that sweat out so you don't have that sweat smell. Um, and then this smells so good. Like if you can see, it's like a little dark on the tip here because this is for the dark. This is the one I use. Kayla's is purple because it's for light hair, um, for blondes. So um, this smells really good. So you'll never have like that sweaty smell in your hair. You'll have like a clean, Mm, a clean smell in your hair, but you can take the blow dryer with your brush and blow dry your hair Dry you don't have to have your hair wet So that's how I get ready so quickly for work after my workout Because I found these little tips so that way you have more time to focus on your workout And you don't have to worry about washing your hair wetting your hair So to blow dry it like you know how you have these kinks in these waves. So what you would do is you would take like the hair, you would take the blow dryer with that little tip on it that makes it flat and you would just go back and forth a little bit right where the crease is and use the blow dryer almost like ironing your hair. And then you take the brush and do the rest of it. But I don't, I maybe rinse my hair once a week and wash it once a week. And usually the once a week that I wash it, it's either gonna end up on a Monday if I'm not going out that weekend, or I'm gonna wash it and style it when I'm going on the weekend. Maybe twice a week I end up washing it, but I definitely rinse it through like once and then dry shampoo the rest of the time. Um, I trial and errored a lot of different dry shampoos and this has been my fave. Um, I could put a picture of it in the comments or any of you guys, if you need any of this information over again, just message me and ask me or text me if you have my number. But this works wonders. Um, and then again, just quickly go through your hair with the blow dryer, less invasive on your hair 
because, um, yeah, I haven't used the flat iron in a really, really long time. Hey, Renee. Hey, Joni. Um, I can't read the rest of that, Amy, so I'll read it after, um, and then I'll, I'll respond to it. But, yeah, my hair, like, there's some days where I don't have a lot of head sweat. I don't know the, I don't know what is different with my workouts and some days my head sweat is crazy and some days it's not. But on the days that it is like soaked sweat, um, I'll rinse it or I'll make that day my hair wash day. So I kind of play it by ear with my workouts and stuff like that. But all the heat on your hair and all of that stuff is so damaging. You've got to make sure that you put some sort of product on the ends of your hair to protect your hair from the heat. Um, I have some good products that I use that my friend that does my hair has told me to use. It has worked fantastically. Um, even like your shampoos and stuff. I found the shampoo. I mean, I, I have like five different shampoos in my shower because I never use the same one. Depends on what I'm looking for. Um, but I'm using, it's made by Wow and it's an apple cider vinegar shampoo and it just gets all the product out of your hair and all the junk out of your hair, like everything from everyday air pollution and all that just, just removes it. It's a good clarifying shampoo, but apple cider vinegar is so good for your hair. A lot of people don't use it. You're very welcome, my love. You have a good day too. Um, some people don't use it because they don't want to smell like a salad <laughs> because sometimes it's hard to find an apple cider vinegar shampoo that doesn't smell like vinegar. This one doesn't, it smells really pretty. Um, so if anybody wants info on that one, I could tell you as well. Um, but I've done a lot of research. My girl that does my hair, she, I've known her since she was like three or four years old. Um, she knows her shit and she has educated me on a lot of stuff. I worked with her for a little bit, so I got to hear her give tips to other people that have certain problems with their hair or certain problems with their scalp. And I've just absorbed that information. Um, but it's really, really important to take care of your scalp and take care of your hair. Um, it's really good to do, like, you know, when you do a facial, do some sort of a conditioning treatment on your hair the same day, like once a week or every, if you don't wash your hair that much, you won't have to do a lot of conditioning treatments, but it's really good for your hair every once in a while. It's like a good moisturizer. But those are my tips. Those are the things that I do that I don't have to wash my hair all the time. I can keep my hair healthy. Um, I don't have to put a lot of heat product on my hair. And then on top of that, it saves me time getting ready for work. So I can do my workout, cool down, I can make my shake, and then I can get ready quicker. I don't have to worry about spending 20 minutes just on my hair, because then it's gonna take me like an hour to get ready because by the time I pick out clothes, by the time I put some makeup on my face, you know what I'm saying? Then you're like a good, 40 minutes of getting ready. So if you can cut that time on your hair, because our hair is always what takes the longest, or at least for me it used to. Now that it's gotten longer, it doesn't take as much time. And now that I found these tips, it doesn't take as much time. I just use my dry shampoo. I use my blow dryer as like a little flat iron to get rid of the crease if I get one. That's another good thing with this hair tie. It doesn't leave a crease in my hair. It'll just leave like a little bit of a wave and sometimes that looks cute. Um, so these are great for that too. So I can put my hair up in a ponytail, take it out, and there's no crease. So I love these hair ties. I have so many colors of these. I just, I, ha I think I have like 15 of them. And I don't even need that many, but they're not expensive either. So I love them. Um, so those are my tips. That's everything I could think of. If anybody has any questions or like, hey, what do you do about this, please, comment here or send me a message and I'll um, I'll let you know because it's probably something else I do and I just haven't thought about it. Um, but I've just decided to let my hair grow. I got some grays coming in here, but whatever. It's just one here and there. So in pictures, people just think it's blonde. Um, <laughs> um, but I'm just letting it grow. I haven't done anything with color since she did the dark for me, which has been a few months. Um, you know, and just letting my natural come in and going from there. But these are the tips that I do to keep it healthy. Um, you know, I find that she had, when I take care of it, I, she hasn't even trimmed it in a while either. I haven't had to have it trimmed. And a lot of times what we do is she does what, what she calls dusting. I go in with my hair dry, freshly blow dried and washed, and she just goes over the ends and just trims the ends up where she feels it's needed. So I don't really trim my hair, she just dusts it. 
So lots of tips for your hair um, to help you. And then another thing too is when you do rinse your hair, try to rinse it with cooler water. Um, now when you shampoo your hair, you can shampoo it with warm, but when you rinse your conditioner out, you should rinse it in cool. The cool It closes your cuticles so your hair is nice and closed and you don't have all these frizzies on all your strands of hair. Um, and it's healthier for your hair. So those are the tips that I can think of right now, but I promised you I would do that this week. And I wanted to make that our Fun Friday convo. Um, but I am gonna go out there and get my workout done today. Today is called Cut. I have no idea what to expect, but I know it's only 20 minutes. Um, so I love these 20 minute workouts. I really didn't think I would feel tone working out in 20 minutes, but I have lost a pound and a half in this first week. And it's helping me with time. Good morning, Michelle. Um, so I am loving the 20 minute workouts. For those of you just hopping on, I'm about to sign off. But if you wait a little bit and go right back into it, you can see all my tips for hair. And it's not even tips for people with the sweaty lifestyle. Um, it's mainly for us because we don't wanna wash our hair all the time, but it's just hair tips in general. So you don't have to wash your hair all the time because that is not healthy for your hair. Um, it will definitely dry your hair out. You will have to get it cut more because you'll have more split ends and then you're like, I don't understand. I wash it all the time, I take care of it. That's the problem. Same thing with your face. I don't know if you know, but you really shouldn't wash your face with a face wash morning and night. Um, I do toning on my face in the morning. So because I washed it in the night after my workout, I rinse it in the shower with water get the sweat off, and then I just use a toner on my face to get rid of any extra dirt. Then I do my moisturizers and the stuff under my eyes, um, and I wash my face at nighttime. And I have a different serum that I put on at night for my face. Um, I use SkinCeuticals, which I absolutely love. Um, so anybody wants any info on that, I can help you with that as well. I've done a lot of trial and error with different stuff. I also like Frey, I think that's how you pronounce it, F-R-E, it's made for sweaty life. Their sunscreen moisturizer is the freaking bomb. I am the only one when the whole group of us from um, our coaching company, when we all went to Mexico, I'm the only one that did not get sunburn on my face or my chest because that's where I put it. And then I put it on my tattoos because the sun was so strong. This, it lasts for a long time. It doesn't wipe off with your sweat. It doesn't wipe off in the water. So I have a lot of different like skincare, <laughs> You hear my dog? <laughs> you okay, Belle? I have a lot of different skincare and hair care that I've been doing that has been working for me. Um, so if anybody has any questions, I'm here. You guys know I like to share products when I find products I love. Um, I have a lot of products at home for curly hair, straight hair, dark hair, light hair. So if you guys need any like product shout outs or for me to share what I've been using, just ask, I'm here. One day I'll take a picture of everything and, and upload it so you guys can see it. But for now, those are my tips on how to keep your hair healthy, not have to wash every day, especially for those that exercise every morning because then that makes it really hard to get ready when you have to wash it and blow dry it and wet it and all that stuff. So just some time-saving tips and healthy hair tips. So have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. I'm gonna go sweat my ass off so I can get into the office and get my work day started. So have a great Friday, guys. Bye.